welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's vlog. I am Ashley if you are new and if you are new please go ahead and stop what you're doing do me a quick favor hit that subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so that you and I can become acquainted and so we can do things like this on the regular. So to kind of start off this week's vlog there's something that has been kind of on my mind a topic that I wanted to share with you guys and get your feedback on and tell me if I'm tripping essentially because it's quite possible I do that often <laughs> to be quite honest but my bestie and I were actually talking about this topic the other day and she kind of agreed with me on it as well so basically I saw somebody that I follow on Instagram this stylist this guy that's a stylist and he in his stories he posted a tweet that rod wave uh tweeted and basically the tweet i'll try to enter insert the tweet here if i can hopefully i can but um but basically the tweet said that i don't like nobody and i've been like that right so the reason why obviously the person who retweeted it agrees with that notion because they retweeted it typically you re I mean they reposted it on their story it's not about the person who reposted it it's not even about the person who wrote it it's more so about for me this glorification of meanness if you will I think that people on social media or just in general in life some people glorify being mean or they think it's cute or they um get a kick out of it or maybe you're just a naturally mean person and you don't like nobody you you truly don't like nobody right i guess my question is why are you proud of that <laughs> the fact that you don't like nobody and that you've been like that and that's coming from somebody who is extremely introverted like this is probably the most extroverted um energy that i exude is because i have a, a youtube but I mean, I'm natural. I'm a Capricorn. I'm a natural introvert. Damn near reclusive girl. Damn near reclusive. I only F with who I F with. But at the same time, I would never say I don't like nobody. Like, I don't think there's I don't think there's anything cute about that. And I think that this mean girl, mean guy type of approach or mentality is kind of i don't i don't want to say it's glorified because i don't think the masses necessarily glorify it but i think that people that had that sort of energy like standoffish you mean you looking people up and down you can't sit with us sort of type energy i think that you think that shit is cute because i'm like why else would you want to be like that like ultimately my bestie was saying that she was meaner and we uh, we both agree that we used to be a little bit meaner back in the day but i feel like it's petty and it's immature almost because you couldn't have lived if you're a mean person and you don't like nobody and you looking people up and down and you giving people that sort of energy to me it just means that you don't need no grace you don't need no grace you don't need nobody to give you grace which means to me that you have not lived long enough I know I'm not like a granny necessarily, but I'm definitely in my 30s, my late 30s. And I've lived long enough to know that I need to provide the grace that I need, that I want to receive, essentially. It, it's not about when you meet a person, necessarily becoming their best friend, becoming their, you know, their their buddy buddy or, or whatever. But why would you go out of your way to me it's, it, it it requires more energy to be mean to a person and to not be nice than it is to be nice like it is so much easier to like give a person a smile you know what i'm saying not instead of looking them up and down like you got to go out of your way to exude that sort of negative energy in my opinion but i think ultimately to my bestie's point, she was saying that she thinks that she was meaner when she was bigger um, because she was just so unhappy within herself that it just kind of just came through in her energy towards other people. And I was like, you know what? I never thought about that because obviously y'all know that I've lost a significant amount of weight. And I would say that, I wouldn't necessarily say it was because I was bigger, but definitely when I was younger, I was more of a mean girl. It was more of a like, 
that sort of thing <laughs> like i would probably you know what i mean but i feel like you grow out of that type of shit if that's who you are naturally like because you again understand in your in your maturation that you need to give people grace because you are going to require grace grace and you're going to need grace eventually from people random people anybody so it's like why you have to this this goes back to me to i hope i'm making sense i know i'm like kind of all over the place but i just basically what i'm saying it, it kind of goes back to the golden rule you treat people the way that you want to be treated so if you don't like nobody and you're being mean to people just because you feel like that shit is cute or that's just who you feel like you are naturally that shit is whack bruh <laughs> that shit is whack i think what i value much more than fashion cars money um lifestyle portfolio is a nice a genuinely nice person with good energy with good positive energy somebody who would just you know greet you with a smile versus a snarl <laughs> if you will like if nothing else we all have a, we all know that within this past two years we if you never knew before that life was too short your ass should know it right now because i don't know a person who doesn't know somebody in their family or in their friend circle or maybe three or four people removed from their immediate circle that has lost somebody from from covid complications like we lost over a million people just in this country everybody's gonna know somebody with a number that large so it's like life was too short to be going around being negative and being nasty to people and again that's coming from somebody who is a naturally introverted person in a capricorn if you have any experience with capricorns you know we don't f with everybody girl we don't we have our picks but i'm just saying like even within that being in my nature honey i have grown an appreciation for just people over the past two years because girl again life is too damn short like i'm like are, are, are you mean because you you maybe you haven't lost people in your life maybe uh maybe you truly are unhappy and i don't think it's the like my bestie said she thinks she was she would particularly particularly her she was more mean and she was more negative when she was bigger to me I, when i was bigger it didn't have nothing to do with it i just was immature and i just haven't lived life enough to understand that i need to be the grace that i expect to receive i didn't know nothing about that i'm just thinking that you know i'm out here just living and girl <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't matter I, as long as i put in the work and i'm smart and i'm this and that that my life is going to be good girl you need to people don't understand how important positive energy is and like i said i just think it's whack like some people i know for a fact people some people get a get a, a thrill out of being mean to people or to just or looking down on people because they don't have this or that they driving this and or they're wearing that that this person is less than girl I, excuse me that sort of, that sort of shit absolutely does not matter it don't matter i don't give a damn if you got a rare himalayan birkin girl with a diamond encrusted crochet uh, lock on it it does not matter i don't give a damn are you nice is your heart kind are you nice to people are you approachable that type of shit is way more valuable than a damn bag a car a like i said your bank account that sort of shit you could people who are genuine genuinely nice and exude positive energy a lot of the times they can get whatever they want because people are going to be willing to deal with you i don't know like i said i know i'm all over the place but i'm just saying i'm tired of the glorification of mean girl the mean girl uh mentality or approach or um I'm, I'm just over i'm over that i'm matured beyond that far years ago and i just think that that shit is whack and um okay congratulations you have a birkin congratulations you have designer that don't make you no damn better than nobody girl you still going to sleep at night just like everybody else, hopefully, or maybe you're just so damn pissed off within yourself that you're perhaps you're not sleeping. 
or like none of that shit matters ultimately it's about who you are in the within yourself on the inside f that mean girl shit people need to let that go <laughs> like don't ever like i just i don't know i hope y'all understand what i'm saying i'm just saying i think people glorify and meanness and i think that shit is whack but anyway again i hope y'all understand what i'm saying if you disagree that's completely understandable as well i know people are who they are but <sighs> that shit is whack period anyway <laughs> i know this is the longest intro of all time but again just coming in to start off this week's vlog share that with y'all um i don't think that people who are bigger are naturally mean because i know a lot of girls a lot of big girls a lot of fine ass big girls bad ass big girls and big guys that are so damn sweet so I don't think it has anything to do with that, but I do think that, and the funny thing about it is this particular person that reposted that, re that tweet in their story is probably 120 pounds. So it's not about the, him being overweight. He just thinks that it's, in my opinion, this, this, oh girl, I was about to say something. <laughs> this person thinks that shit is cute and that shit is not cute. What's cute is, are you nice? Are you kind? I don't know. Like I said, in my maturation, that's what I value much more than material things. But I could be alone. I don't know. Anyway, like I said, thanks for coming back to this week's vlog. Hey, girl, hey, or hey, boy, hey. Please comment down below if you understand what I'm saying. Like I said, I know I'm all over the place. I've been talking for damn near 12 minutes. Um, but I appreciate you for coming back. And girl, let's go ahead and get into the vlog. <laughs> Y'all already know where I'm at this morning. It looks so much better out here now that they are done with their renovations. But I thought they were expanding, but apparently that wasn't it. I guess I just wanted to make it cuter on the side. But anyway, everybody named Mama up here, girl. And it's only like 11.30 on a Monday morning, but let me get in and get out. <laughs> They got potted hydrangeas this week. They look really pretty. So back at it again with the Christmas bag. Um, I only picked up four items and two of them you already know. Mandarin orange chicken bow. Yes, ma'am. Another one. You know I got my lemons. I didn't even pick up no lines because I still have a few left from last week. And then this is what I need to tell y'all about. When I saw this, it was a no-brainer. Trader Joe's AOE garlic mustard sauce. 15 calories per tablespoon, so not so bad. I can't wait to try this. I love garlic aioli and I love mustard. So if we're going to put all of these things together, I'm excited. And they're suggesting, let's see, sauce can be used with cold meats and seafood and used as a vegetable dip or spread oh okay so seafood Shit, i was gonna put some on my turkey burger <laughs> but anyway i'll let you guys know how this is i don't see how it can be bad but i will keep you posted but yeah very light day today at, as usual but even lighter than normal so just got this package in from h&m so they have these cute like little t-shirt dresses on their site um, so I got it in tan, and this one is in large, and I got the black one in the medium, and they say they run really good. You know how they do it, like, the good people over at H&M, so I'll show you guys what they look like on. I got them the other day, I think it was like 20% off with free shipping for members, so, um, probably like 30 or so for both. But anyway, I'll show you guys how they look on. So, of course, all the buzz in the city this week, and today is Friday, it's been the buzz. There's the aquarium over there, guys. I want to go to the aquarium. But anyway, um, I'm on my way to Walmart. So, of course, all the buzz in the city this week is about, you know, Young Thug and Gunna and their whole crew getting um, pinched, if you will. Um, all I got to say is I'm glad that's not my business, and I feel bad for um anyone involved but i'm glad that's not my business i don't have a whole lot to say about it um however i will say that that our new da 
Fullerton County, Bonnie Lewis. Baby, she did not come to play. She been telling y'all that she did not come to play. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. And she specifically said that they're cracking down on the gang violence because this city is horrible. Let's be clear. I've been trying to tell people that, you know, before, because, you know, everybody wants to move here. You know, well, a lot of people want to move here, and I understand why. But ultimately, girl, it's very dangerous, especially in the city of Atlanta, but really all over. But, um, but yeah, they are cracking down on the violence, and they said the gangs are responsible. And it's quite unfortunate that it's, you know, some people's favorite rappers involved. But, like I said, if you watch the news, the, the local news here, you know that Miss Bonnie Lewis, I mean, Miss Bonnie Willis did not come to play. But again, glad it ain't my business, girl. Y'all, the devil is telling me to buy these. But I'm gonna ignore that shit today. But oh my God, have y'all tried them? They got the minis. I was gonna get them and just do them on cheat day, but um, 310 calories is still a lot, even though I don't give a damn about calories on cheat day. But even the minis are 200. Right, let me just stick to my little uh mini packs of cookies for 70 calories but yeah them hoes look good have y'all tried them so i low-key probably shouldn't be showing y'all this because i'm invading somebody's privacy but i'm not gonna say who it is but anyway this is my neighbor right so he has this calm plant and then he had a dracaena over there in the other pot and he ain't been living here this long y'all he has not been living here this long However, I was like, damn, I hope his plants make it because I've had both of those plants before from Ikea. I was like, damn, I hope his plants make it. Now, granted, his plants fell over last week. I'm all in his business, y'all. But I'll be, I'll be really stalking people's plants and pets. <laughs> but anyway, granted, his plants fell over last week. But I, all I'm, I'm saying this to say that don't buy plants from Ikea because I had that palm probably a year or two ago, died damn near after two months. And then I had that Dracaena over there for quite some time. I think her name was Kamala Harris. Yeah, y'all, both of them died and now his plants are dying. All I'm saying is that I have never seen a person successfully be able to uh, maintain and keep an Ikea plant alive. So word to the wise, girl don't buy no Ikea plants because you see his Dracaena over there don't got no leaves and his palm is on his way out too. I sure hate it for him, but girl, don't buy no plants from Ikea. You know what will be pissing me off? <laughs> First of all, today is Friday the 13th and I've been feeling a little bit of a way all day today. So I said, let me go ahead and reward myself, save my breakfast calories, add them to my dinner lunch calories and go to Chick-fil-A, girl. You ain't had none in so long. Mind you, this is a small. Now, it might look like it's ample to y'all, but do this look like this is $3 worth of macaroni and cheese? They used to fill that thing to the top. So y'all wanna charge us more, and then y'all wanna give us less. I don't appreciate that, but I will be emailing your operator. <laughs> but no, don't play with me when I save my calories, girl. You know, I'm only gonna eat good one time a day one time today oh but tomorrow is cheat day i already got the buns ready girl i'm doing some chili some chicken philly <laughs> but yeah they better stop playing with me so i just got this package in from sephora so i go on to try this kaoli vanilla 28 i saw several people's mama on instagram she talked about how this was just out of this world <laughs> So I wanted to try it out because it was a blind buy for me. So I was waiting on this small bottle to come in and this, it came in. So I was able to pick it up. Y'all, smells crazy. I'll show you the bottle in just a second. Um, of course, with the samples, I got this So Gennaro. This is the one that they said smells like Baccarat Rouge. So I'll be the judge of that because of course I have Baccarat Rouge, y'all. Excuse my nails, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm on my way. This is the other sample, which is what is this? OS. This is some um, concealer. So, a couple of colors in there. I can mix and try those out. So, I love a good sample. But anyway, let me show y'all how pretty this little bottle is. So, here is the bottle. And y'all, this is a pretty good size. I think it's like a point. What is this? Like a 0.34? Yeah. 
yep it's a 0.34 so it's vanilla 28 this is like i think 25 or 27 dollars plus tax on sephora it's always sold out but i have it um I, they finally got it in last week so i was able to pick it up but it's always sold out in that size and really all the sizes and i see now why the girls love it because i definitely sprayed it today y'all and oh my god if you like vanilla girl this smells like a super high-end um vanilla like private blend almost we'll see how long that it wears in this bottle of course is super cute looks like a little diamond on the topper but y'all the notes are on the back of this box so it's vanilla orchid tonka absolute brown sugar amber woods and musk y'all it's friday night and i've had a cocktail so excuse me <laughs> but anyway y'all it smells so damn good i'm gonna definitely if it wears uh good i'm gonna need a big bottle for sure but this was definitely a good value for 25 dollars i highly recommend it and like i said i will let you girls know if it lasts long but so far it smells amazing and i'm not the only person who thinks that so we're back at main street with the vibes i'm pretty confident it's about to be one one hell of a wait so y'all already know where i'm trying to go Virgils. but they got it lit out here as always what up though i'm so happy it's saturday you guys Of course, Virgil's was everything. Virgil's was so good, y'all. The bomb, as usual. And now I got the itis. I got that shit on here, y'all. So you got Baccarat Chanel. Look how pretty this building is painted. I love it. Come. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I think I need it. <laughs> hey, you guys, just coming in to end off this week's vlog. Woo, girl, it has been a day and it's only five o'clock. 
I have plans potentially later on, but um, I'm hoping I don't fall asleep because I had a couple cocktails when we were at Virgil's and when we were out. So I'm sorry, a cocktail, but I had some Bombay Sapphire, which I took. That's one of my drinks, but I haven't had that in quite some time. So it was a little strong for your girl. So, so yeah, I need to lay down definitely before trying to do anything this evening. Uh, Virgil's was amazing as usual and surprisingly I was like this is like the first time that I ever been that we didn't have to wait like and it's we was got there like after one o'clock on Saturday like this is very much unheard of so I was very surprised about that but the food was really good next time I go that's like my fourth time going so obviously I love it y'all hear me talk about Virgil's all the time and of course I have brought you guys with um, every time I've been there, next time I go, I definitely will try something different. I think I want to try like their salmon balls. I make salmon patties, as y'all know, all the time. So, um, but I will, you know, want to try those out and maybe their grits. But today was super good. A lot of people were out enjoying the weather, looking good. Just a whole bunch of black excellence, if you will. So that was really dope. And again, I'm hoping that I can definitely make it outside this evening. So I'm gonna try to take a quick little nap. And of course, if I do, um, I will insert those clips as well. But if not, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, of course. And I will see you girls and guys in next week's vlog.